You're saying shoo. Oh, shoo. Shoo. What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another episode of Fish Flare. Today, we got a very special episode, but before we get started, I want to say huge thanks to ButcherBox for sponsoring today's video. They are now coming back with ground beef for life. So if you guys are new to the channel, I am a longtime subscriber of ButcherBox. It is my favorite way to get high quality premium meats from dark meat, light meat. They've even got a bunch of seafood on there right now. Um, it'll be linked down below if you guys want to go check it out, but they've got a ground beef for life promotion, which again, if you click the link down below, you get free ground beef for the lifetime time of your subscription literally free so right here we've got a bunch of stuff yep right there free ground beef right there so this is 100 grass-fed grass finished ground beef we've got grass-fed beef top sirloin cap ground bison premium steak tips flank steak strip loins ribeyes whole bunch of other stuff this is literally what i just grabbed out of the box right now there's a bunch in my freezer so like if you look at my freezer there's a whole bunch of stuff um but we only have a few things that are actually thought out today to cook, including some ribeye. And then we've also got some new seasonings that we're gonna try out as well. But if you guys wanted to try out ButcherBox for yourself, skip the line, skip the checkout, skip the grocery store entirely. They ship it straight to your doorstep as frequently as you want. You pick the frequency, you pick what you want. You like chicken, you don't like chicken, you like beef, you don't like beef, whatever it is, you can cater this box to what you and your family like and they ship it straight to your doorstep and it is the highest quality meat out there on the market. So it'll be linked down if you guys wanna go check it out. I would highly suggest it if you guys are like me and I like eating meat. Uh, it's a really easy way to get high quality stuff. Again, track your door stuff and you can try some new stuff. Like they, they have ground bison. I've seen they've had lobster, they've had halibut, they've had salmon. They have a whole bunch of scallops. We've had scallops before. Kind of the different selections come and go. So go ahead and check it out and see if there's anything you guys want. Uh, but with that being said, there'll be a link down below. We are going to do a little cooking before today's video gets started, including, like I said, testing out some seasoning. So these are some prototypes. Wild Game, Southwest Mesquite, Smoky Mesquite, Mesquite, Smokehouse Barbecue. They're all relatively, fairly similar. We need to kind of figure out what we want to uh, you know, go with. This is, again, looking at samples for, for duck seasoning. The next one, we've got the all meat out there and stuff like that. But we're trying to, you know, develop, since we're always cooking, develop some really good seasoning. So these are the ones that we've got to try right now. And then this is the meat. What, what video game are you playing right now? I'm watching you. Oh, you're watching me? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's unfortunate. That sounds like a boring time. Well, rather than listening to you, I'd watch you. So. Oh, oh, okay. So we've got these guys. These are already thawed out, ready to rock and roll, which this is a grass-fed beef ribeye steak. My favorite cut of steak of all time is a ribeye, but then we also have some grass-fed strip loin right here. So these are the three that we're gonna be de dealing with. We're gonna cut them all in half. So we've got, well, six pieces of meat and then five of these. We might either double up on one or just grab a different seasoning from somewhere just to try it. We're gonna throw them on the grill and get to cooking to grub it up for a little bit of steak and see what seasoning we like. So you guys stay tuned. That was sick. Didn't we tell him this about one of the other seasonings? Like that there's too much of something something? Oh boy. Yeah, there was something like this. That one might be one of our favorites. Right okay, there. what's that, that one? Smells really good. Shoo! Well, folks. We got everything on the grill. Uh, we're gonna, I'm cooking at 500, all right? I don't mess around when I'm cooking steaks. Gotta get them grill marks on there. So, few minutes, rotate it. Few minutes, flip it, rotate it, whatever. We actually got another seasoning. We've got six of them on there now. Um, they're all cut up. We're gonna grill them up and see how the meat tastes. There you go, Banjo. There's your steaks. Look at the meat. I don't know if they're done or not, but we'll find out. These thick guys might not be, honestly. I'm not really sure. All right, there you go. All right, so, see you guys inside. Look at that guy right there. Oh perfect. yeah, that's perfect. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut these guys up and we're gonna get to taste test and figure out which ones we like the best. This is good. I love steak. Steak is tough to be a good steak. So we'll get these cut up and let you guys know what we think is our favorite and potentially new seasoning for ducks. Here you go. Perfect. What do we got? What, how are we starting? Let's just start here. Right here. Yeah. Okay, so this is your smokehouse barbecue. Mm -hmm. Go out and go out. Mm -hmm. So sweet, <laughs> sweet, sugary, sweet. Mm -hmm. That's a good steak. I like that steak. Yeah, it right. was really good. Mesquite onto some mesquite. This is now we're dealing with ribeye, so a little bit different piece of meat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, mesquite. Mm -hmm. 
That one beats it for me. Beats the smokehouse. Totally different flavors. Mm -hmm. That one's good. All right, so now we're on to this was the this the is sixth a mystery. One. It's kind of a mystery one. That one hits you good. Very sweet. You got a sweet out of that? No. Did you grab the wrong piece? I got it from here. Mine ain't sweet. Really? <laughs> no. That was spicy. You just spicy? I got a spicy piece, yeah. Okay. Wild game. Give that a try. Ooh. That was a really good piece of meat. Had a little fat on there. That steak was great. I might come back to that one. Southwest mesquite? Mesquite, yeah. So it's probably spicy. Mm hmm Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. that, that beats normal mesquite. I'm between these two now. We're narrowing it down a little bit. We got smokehouse, Sm mesquite. Smoky mesquite. That might be the right combo. Because mesquite's good. Mm hmm. That's pretty good. Woo! Mmm. I can't decide now. I'd say it's between these three. Mm hmm. One of my favorites. I mean, I guess the only thing you can do is go back in. Really? Oh, yeah. I like this. This is a good This is a good idea, like a steak sampler. I was thinking that too. All right, I know I know which one that's my favorite. Oof, I don't know if I do. Well, okay, what do you think? This you, one? Yeah, this one? Yeah. This one just doesn't have enough flavor, and maybe we used a little less. But yeah. this one's a little spicier. This one just has the right The right combo. amount. Not, and, and that's just it. It could have to do with the, the amount of How spice. How much, yeah. But all right. All good. I, that's, I'm, I'm still between these, sir. Pool Jet, you got to get in here. You got you to gotta be the winner. You got to figure out what's your favorite here. All right, old Pool Jet. All right. Do you want me just to go right to the just top Just go to three? the top three. I mean, okay. it, we'll yeah. go back to that just, you know, to eat. But I would say that we're pretty much certain that's the top three. Now, did that one have much flavor or not? It's pretty sweet. Okay. You mm -hmm. got sweet. So at least you got some flavor on it. Because I, I probably didn't season it 100% correctly. Okay, so you got it's some good, sweet. Though. And then this one's a little spice. You got some. You definitely got some spice on this. That's a Southwest Mesquite. Okay, out of those two, which one's your favorite? Maybe that's an easy way of doing it. So you like the spice. Okay. Say, so we're, we, it's between these two now. I'd, I'd agree. I'd okay, agree. Yeah. all right, it's between these two now, okay? All right, so this is either gonna dethrone this guy completely, or that's gonna be the winner. Mm. Are you on Banjo's team? Look, I'm on Team Banjo. Team yeah. Banjo takes mm -hmm. it. Smoky, Smoky Mesquite. Yep. Really? All right, I gotta go in. I gotta go in for one more bite of the Smoky Mesquite. Just to, just to. Oh, I'm just going in deep. Oh, okay. Mmm. All right, that's a good steak. All right, I'll give it to you, Banjo. That one's. Mm-hmm. It hits. It's, it's, good. it's, it's the right amount. Anyways, there's your steak testing, and you might potentially see one of these. Uh, seasonings available at Ducks. But if you guys want to be like us and have a smorgasbord of, um, is that how you actually pronounce that word? It is. That's a big word. It's that's a big word for me. Yeah. Of meats, delicious meats, even some seafoods and chickens and all sorts of pork, a bunch of other stuff. Again, link will be down below if you guys want to check out butcherbox.com. Click the link and you get ground beef for free for life of the lifetime of your subscription. So, that being said, enjoy the rest of the video. Cheers! How's it going folks? Welcome back to another episode. We are gonna be doing something interesting today We are gonna attempt to do a little bit of dang a little bit of fishing but first things first you guys already know Joe We got to take care of these animals banjo and pool jet. They're taking care of the old pigs over here. How you guys doing? You're getting so big Oh, we got buddies out here. What up Rice? How you doing? Oh, God. Hey, you tried where's, to bite me. Hey, where's cheese cheese wh cheese? Come here cheese. Hey cheese rice. What are you doing big guy Rice, Should we butcher you or should we not? What do you think the shirt is there buddy? Dude, you know how much bacon is on this guy? I know it'd be what absolutely fire we gotta, we gotta she find a butcher. Really tasty. She does look kind of tasty. Not gonna, she's kind of cute. But all right, well, you guys want some food? Milk and toast. Banjo's on food duty. Don't worry. Yay! There you go. You guys got it. They're so cute. I need to go in there and hang out with them. We haven't done that for a little while. What are you guys doing? Oh hi! Oh look at that belly. How much you think they weigh? Oh, that's a big belly. Oh, they, they like us now. Oh my gosh, dude, these things are just absolute units. Beasts. How much do you think they weigh? Pick one up, see. Actually, don't. Gonna, gonna like he's them. about to get pissed. I bet they're at least 100 pounds. You think so? Dude, they're just Chicken. solid sausage. Yeah, like just meat. <laughs> Durr, just sausage pork chops. They're huge, bro. All right, all right, all right. We're done harassing you. We're done harassing you. I'm sorry. They're just so freaking cute. I love them. Is uh, cheese dead or what, what do you think his strat is? He's sleeping. Why is it just rice out here? He's taking a nap. We need to. We need to go fix their. We need to fix their watering system. I think they broke it. Let's go do that. Hey, no, back up. Hey, what? 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 <laughs> They're so funny. I don't want to eat you. You're so cute. We just need to go find a different pig to slaughter. You're cute. Where's your buddy? Huh? Is he in here? Is he sleeping? Wake up, cheese. Hey, wake up. Hey, oh, he's munching. Hey, buddy, how you doing? He's giving the old munch. Hey. Come say hi. Come say hi to everybody. Big boy. Yeah, he don't want nothing to do with that. He's on munch duty. What are you doing? Come here, Rice. Hey. Come here, Rice. Go get him. You go get him. You go get him. Where are you going? I don't know where you're going. Look, they're walking along. Oh, it's muddy back there. I bet that's where they hang out now. Why is there so much water back there? Oh my 
my god. What the heck? Yeah, did you hear it? It was sloshing around. Oh. That's probably, that would be the best spot for them to lay. Yeah. Because there's shade. there's constant shade. This thing, how, how bad does this thing look? This thing's probably just, oh god, rip. How in the heck do you get to this? You fall in that, you're stuck. Oh, dude, if I fall in right now, this is a bot. I'm gonna laugh so hard. All right, I think we're good. We got the water hook back up. That's, I didn't realize how much water is back here by Pinky. Hey, what are you doing, buddy? Why don't you like us? Look at all, this is all new mud. It must have just been from the rain, I guess. It just like filled it all up. I mean, that's good. They've got a lot, they, they've got even more mud now besides that little moat that they built. So they got food. We need to turn the water on, fill up the little pig's little barrel as well, and then go take care of the rest of the animals. You guys stay tuned. Rick, what are you doing, Rick? Hi, big boy. You want some grain? You want some grain? Dale, come here, Dale. Hey, everybody misses you, Dale. <laughs> Dale, you used to be the fan favorite. I think we've it's been taken uh, by Llama. Yeah. Jerry, how are those nuts doing, Jerry? Jerry, let me let me get a peek right there. <laughs> Jerry, oh Jerry, Jerry's still giving it a dangle. Oh yeah. Jerry, Jerry, how long does it take for these things to fall off, Jerry? Hey, I'm tired of keeping boots and uh, carrying away from you guys. How you doing, Drake? You doing all right? You guys want some grain? Steve, what are you doing, Steve? Steve's killing it without mullet. Hey, 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 Rick, be nice to the sheep. All right, we better better feed these guys before somebody gets hurt. Try to get some. What, are you guys hungry or something? Gee. <laughs> My God, you would think I starve these animals. There you go. Donkeys need somebody. Dude, the turkeys are going off. They literally got a whole bunch of grain yesterday. Rick, you want some? Here. There you go, pal. Eat off the ground, buddy. There you go, llama. These guys act like we didn't give them a freaking like 10 scoops yesterday. I don't understand it. Steve! Steve, you want Steve, the they, You know how I know they're not starving? It's because Steve never eats any grain. Like, he's always too shy. Come here, Carol. He's always too shy, and he's not like super skinny. Like, he looks fine. That's how I know these animals are actually well fed. They just are little grain whores. Right here, buddy. It's just for you. You get it. What? She not like it? Ca Carol! Hey. Right there, Carol. Is this not- hey, you- what do you want, buddy? You want some grain? Come here. Here, big boy. There you go. Big boy Dale gets his grain. Rick! Don't do it, Rick! Rick, 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 Rick. Right here. Let Banjo feed you, Rick. Look at that boogie. Blow your nose, my guy. It's Rona season. You can't have that stuff just dangling and flinging around on everybody. You're gonna get everybody sick, you crazy b****. Alright, let's give some to Karen and Boot. Get some grain, Karen. There you go, duckies. There you go. Rick, what? I don't understand it. There's literally four troughs of grain, Rick. Hey, kinky boy, I'll feed, I'll fill this guy up, I guess. There you go. Hey, llama, eat it out of the bucket. Jerry, oh, Jerry. Jerry, when them knots gonna fall off, Jerry? I ain't got no more. You want me to get you some? Here, come over here, let's go. Llama. Why? Why, well, I, there's, there's literally tons of it over there. Rick, in the trough. To the weast, Rick. Rick. I don't understand this goat. Why are all my animals so needy? They have to be hand fed now. We spoiled them. Come here, llama. Right here. There. There you go. No, Rick. Rick. Hey, right here, Rick. Hey. Rick! God dang it, Rick! Hey! Why do you insist eating it out of the scoop? Big boy. I don't get it. Why are my animals like you see this? You see what his shroud is right now? Watch this. Ready, Rick? Hey, right here, you want some grain? You gotta get some right there. No, you know, it's on the ground. Hey, right there, okay, now right here. All right, there we go, Llama. We got him distracted. There you go. Come on, sometime today, you got it. You better hurry up before Rick figures it out. Get in there, it's all the same. You don't gotta dig around. It's all the same stuff, you got it. Look at Steve and the turkey. All right, Llama, hey, ready? This is for you. Go hang out with Steve. So sorry, Steve. <laughs> Poor Steve, I'm sorry. All right, well, these guys are fed. We still need to go check on Chungus. Chungus, wakey, wakey. Oh, you flipped your bowl over, Chungus. You need some food, buddy? You want a little bit of grain, my guy? Come here, buddy. Come say hello to everybody. They miss you. Look at his hole. I know, he loves digging holes. You want some grain? Big boy, right here. You want a yo dip or something? Hey, right here. Are you blind or what? You can obviously hear me, but... What's his problem? He wants the treats. Is there treats in here? Yeah, get some yo dips for my guy. Buddy loves the old banana yo dips. Hey, big boy. Banjo's on treat duty. Come over here. Come here, Chungus. Hey. Yeah, right here, big guy. Right here. You want some yo dips? Hey, right there. Oh, nope. Like see? There you oh. go. I'm afraid he's gonna bite my finger off. Hey, you want this? Right here. Chungy. I'm convinced he's kind of blind. So he, he can be deaf, not with them ears. There's no way. You better watch out. He's gonna bite your finger off. Hey, you'll lose a finger. <laughs> I don't think they can bite your finger oh, off. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. My real estate agent has a missing tip of her finger, she told me. No way. Yeah. I have a were rabbit? You were, you were there. Yeah, she yeah. did say that. That's crazy. She showed me her finger and it's missing a tip. Rabbit when she was younger just bit it clean off. That's crazy. Dude, that they eat powerful. carrots. It's the same thing. You ever hear that? Where I your mean, pinky finger is like guess. a carrot? That's pinky. That wasn't my pinky. Hey, listen, guy. You got big teeth, huh? Unless you're drinking a bunch of milk, your bones are not able to withstand the chungus. You know what I'm sure. saying? We are going to attempt to go fishing today, and we kind of thought the idea. I'm like, hmm, you know who would love to go fishing? Well, Dale. Or Millie. 
or Lucy, but we've already taken all them fishing. You know who hasn't gone fishing that would absolutely love it? This guy, Big Chungus. You wanna go fishing, my guy? Why do you not like me? First, like he's got good days and bad days, I feel like. Right now, not a good day. You know why he's cranky? Because he hasn't gone fishing yet. So our plan, is to load up Chungus, take him down to the pond, and we're gonna be fishing off the new dock that we built. If you guys missed that series, uh, you can go check it out on the channel. We built we built an entire giant floating dock for the pond, but we're gonna take him out there and show him what it's all about. See see if Chungus can catch his PB, and uh, we'll see how it goes. We gotta load this guy up and get him in the meal. Big boy, hey, you'll be all right. Hey, we gonna go fishing. Yeah, it looks so cute. You gonna catch your PB, my dude. Big blue Look at them claws, bro. You ever see it? God dang, yeah, bro. He cut his claws, look at that. <laughs> You gotta get the old Manny Petty going for my guy. Sheesh. All right, well, let's get him in the mule. We're going fishing, my guy. I promise you'll like it. Ask Dale. Dale loved it when we went fishing with Dale. I got like a baby. Just sitting here, just quietly, just not doing nothing. Hey, you're all right. You're all right. Hey, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Cool Joe's gonna babysit you. Listen, life will be good. We're, you're not going to the freaking catch and cook station, okay? You're not gonna make the turkeys or anything else we've eaten. You're going to the pond. Place dreams are made of. Time to catch your PB, Chungus. Ooh, Chungus, that was the ride, big guy. You look freaking pissed. Life will be good, my guy. You're gonna love it. So if you guys are wondering, are we going to be leaving uh, Chungus out of the cage to run around and drown? No, we are not. We're gonna be a responsible parent. We're gonna leave him in the cage, even though Pool Jet, his vote was to let him rip. I don't, I don't like really. Jump in the water. I don't really he want. He might just run away. He might run away. I don't need. And then we're gonna have to go get Millie to come chase him. And you know, we don't need poor Chungus dying out here. So this is a new dock for those of you guys. But look at this rod. I did throw a rod out last. I came down here last night, threw a hot dog out. And oh, there's a fish on it. I'm pretty positive we got a catfish on the line, so let's get Chungus out there and see if he can witness first fish catch of the day. You guys stay tuned. Come on, big shooter, you got it. We're going to the pond. This is the pond, all right? Shoo! Big Chungus, he's out here. He's ready to attack. Hey, we need to put you on raccoon duty out here. Look at this. What do you think that is? One, two, three, four, five. Ricky. That's old Ricky, he sat there and climbed on it, trying to get in there. But luckily this fish feeder is a freaking beast and they can't get that. But Chungus, you ready to witness your first fish catch? I think we got something on here. So this was, I put a hot dog on here and threw it out last night. Come check it this morning, we'll see what we got. Oh God. Oh God, yeah. Really? Oh God, yeah. Chungus, Chungus, this is it boys. Oh rip. Did I not see it move or was that just, oh we had one. Look, it was all in the weeds. I swear to God, I saw it move. Did you see it move? I saw it move when we walked up, yeah. Y'all are crazy. Chungus. I see anything. Chungus, this is called a salad, okay? You like this? You probably eat it. Chungus, you want some, you want some breakfast? I'd probably die from it. They'd probably die. All right, well, never mind. I thought we were about to catch a catfish. I swear to God, it moved. Maybe it just, I don't know. It, it definitely got eaten, because I did not cast it into the weeds, and it was covered in the weeds. So something had it, came off. But Banjo, he's out here. We got some night crawlers and stuff. He is on bluegill duty. I'm going to try to catch a largemouth, and he's going to try to catch bluegill, and we're going to show Chungus what it's all about here, fishing in the backyard pond. Banjo needs all the help he can get when it comes to bluegill duty. Uh, so what we're going to do is use the fish feeder to our advantage. So this thing does go off three times a day, 7 a.m., noon, and 7 p.m., but we can flip it on for a couple seconds, get it kind of chummed up for Banjo. That way, start a feeding frenzy, and then he can go in there and capitalize. That way we get Chungus on some fish. So hit this button a handful of times here. Do that, let's do three seconds, and stand back, it says. It's about to yeet. We're about to yeet some pellets in the water. Oh God, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There you go, Banjo. If you don't catch him now, I don't know what to tell you, my guy. Right. I'm gonna sit here and just watch for a second to see what, if anything, kind of comes up to, to, you know, check out the, the fish bill. Some of them float, some of them don't, some of them sink. I'm not seeing much. That thing's intense. Dude, it is crazy. It self cleans too. Yeah. So like raccoons and stuff don't try to get in it and stuff. Well, they attempted, but they, they didn't. Oh, we got one little nibble there. I'm not seeing much going on. A lot of it's floating. Granted, they got they got fed earlier this morning at seven but I feel like there's still a pretty good chance we're at least gonna get the fish somewhat fired up. Oh, there's a bunch of, oh, you guys probably can't see that. See all the fry right there by that post? I don't even know what kind of fish they are, but they're fry. Yeah. They're this big. Little guys, just little wee guys. Well, bandage on bluegill duty. I'm gonna go ahead and start dangling a little worm and see if I can catch a largie. I'm starting with this little dangle stick here. Actually, I got this in a mystery tackle box. So I've, I've been fishing it for a little bit. It's worked, got it weightless, just super natural. It's got that little wobble, wibbity wobble thing going on down there. The old dock where, so we, we have the new dock here. The old dock was sitting over there and there's a bunch of posts and pilings and pieces of metal and shrapnel type thing. It sounds like a grenade went off, but it's still over there and I feel like that kind of holds some fish structure. Chungus, I don't know what to tell you, my guy. We haven't caught a fish yet. I thought I was going to have a catfish for you, but I guess not. The goal is going to be just to get a couple fish for, for Chungus to experience. Just to, you know, how cool would it be taking my rabbit fishing? And maybe he just, what if he just chilled on the boat, not in the cage, and just sat up on the deck and hung out? Or he jumps in the water and dies. Have you guys ever could, done that before? It could go either way at this point. Let me know. Should we try to train Chungus to be our fishing companion? Or is that just a terrible idea? 
I wonder if they can eat these pellets though. Cause that, if you could get this amount, I mean, these are, we're looking at thousands of bass right here. Can they see it on the camera right now? I, I can't really tell. Do they need Mondo optic vision? They might need it. So I don't know how well you guys can see that, but there's a bunch of fry kind of right by that T post there in the water. Those are all freaking largemouth. There's literally thousands of little largemouth right here, which is good because they probably, I mean, I assume they might start eating these these pellets and stuff. If, if we can get pellet train largies, that would be pretty sick. It also might make the bass fishing a little bit, like the big largemouth fishing a little bit, challenging today and, you know, for the next month or two because bass eat other bass. I mean, essentially, it's like throwing up a few thousand minnows in here and then expecting to catch bass. Like, it's going to be tough. I mean, you can, I don't know if you guys can't see them, but they're, they're all on that. So that's crazy that they're they're sticking around these posts right now. But that's good to see a good hatch. I mean, we had a good hatch. There's thousands just right in this area. And hopefully they grow up to be big chunguses one day, just like this guy. Isn't that right, Big Chungus? You killing it, my friend? I know. We'll get we'll get you a fish. Don't you worry, guy. We will get you a fish. You just sit here and do chungus things. Should we try to get should I give him some grass? You think he's hungry? Big chungus might be a little bit hungry. I'll give him I'll give him some grass to chew on. This stuff over here looks like it'd work. Right here. I mean, I feel like grass is grass, right? Probably I'll kill him. Uh, Jimothy, you want some of this guy? Hey. There you go. Bony apple feet, son. Imagine eating this. Is he munching? Oh, he is munching. There you go, pal. There's a lot more where that came from, all right? Oh, big buddy, he's munching. All right. Anyways, he's he's content now. We got him snacks. So now he's going to catch a fish. Yeah. Were you feeling something? Yeah, the lines. You can see the line. Go ahead and set it. Oh, you got one. Banjo. Oh, yeah. Banjo. First cast. Oh, really? We, we we switched duties. I was going on bluegill duty. Oh, rip. Oh, okay. rip. Came off right came there. Off. I just cast it right in the middle. This guy. Apparently, you're on bass duty today. Yes. Well, we switched roles. I was like, all right, let me try out the bluegill. You try out the bass. He had one. First cast. Yeah, I'd maybe lay into him pretty hard next time. Yeah. That's my guess is what happened there. Chungus? Close one. Not not quite. Oh, I got a bite. Boys, we got a bite. Chungus, this is it. It's the moment we've been waiting for, Chungus. Come on, take it, big guy. Got him. Got him. Chungus! Chungus! We did it! Oh God, look at that little squeaky. Chungus, big boy. Big boy, that's a bluegill, my guy. You like that guy? Oh, oh what the heck? You think he's a large guy or what? Hey, big bluegill, right here. Oh God, he sees it now. What's this guy doing? You want him to hang out with you? He, he doesn't have much to say today. It's kind of quiet. He might be more of a bass guy. Give it the old sniff. You probably smells like freaking booty hole, huh? All right, Chungus, I'll quit harassing you. Guess he's not much of a bluegill guy, but hey, Chungus, so far this is your PB. Nothing too impressive, but it works. See you later, dude. Let's see if we can catch something bigger. Come on, take it. Take it, big guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me the old nibble. All right, I'd give her hell. Oh, oh Banjo yeah. with the fish! Oh yeah! Oh, he's taking you to the weeds! Oh yeah! Oh, it's bigger! Oh, it's a chungus! Chungus! We caught a chungus! Two chunguses! That's a giant yeah, bluegill is. there, buddy! I mean, wow! I mean, it's almost lunchtime. That uh, tr true. Could turn this into the old catching cook. Oh, oh rip. rip! Hey, how you doing? Hey, buddy! Hey! Oh, he's whizzing! Oh, yeah. Chungus, new PB, brother! Look at this! You like this guy or what? Chungus, you're not very enthusiastic about the bluegills. This guy even fit in this cage? I don't think he does. Big boy. You don't care. Big boy, this is a big chungus right here. This is this is like the you version in bluegill world. Big boy, you don't care. Good job, Banjo. Are we eating him? Uh, you know, not today. I feel like, I feel like no. No, not today. I feel like we need a beefcake picture. You think so? Certified beefcake. Oh yeah. Do so you guys want to follow beefcake on Instagram? I'll link it down below. Give her the old yeet. The old big chungus yeet. Oh, Boom, finally, we got a bacon. Well, folks, if you can't tell, a little bit of a struggle. If you guys want to see us maybe take chunks out on the boat sometime, we didn't really come prepared. We don't have batteries or anything down here or really any type. I just figured we would just see how he does. I mean, he's chilling. Oh, see, so he's walking around. Hey, did you, you eating the grass? You need some more grass? Chungus needs some more grass. Anyways, that is pretty much what we're going to, to do with Chungus for today. Like I said, if you guys want to see us take him out on the boat and do some more fishing videos, or are there any other, I mean, you want to see us throw llama on the back of the John boat? You guys let me know in the comment section down below. My theory as to why the largemouth fishing is kind of cheeks is because they spawned and there's a bunch, like billions of little fish like this. And I think that they're, they've kind of filled up on it a little bit. You have one. Oh, oh really? You got me excited for a second. Yeah. But we did catch a couple bluegills. So we, we got Chungus's PB. Right now his PB is about a six inch bluegill, which isn't too bad. But if you guys want to see us take him out for round number two in the boat, let me know in the comment section down below. Or like I said, is there any other farm animals you want to see us take out fishing? Now that we have this dock, we can take other animals out and, and fish. You know, obviously some animals could probably fit in the boat. Some of them like Carol. I mean, we could walk Carol down here. Carol, you don't think this could, God. you think this could hold her? Oh, Carol, this thing would definitely hold Carol. Would she swim? Ca Probably not, but I think so. Carol, you think so? Yeah. I think so. Really? Because you yeah. know, like big cattle farms, they have the ponds that they go in. You just see them doing like the backstroke, or I mean, what happens if they fall in? You doggy paddle. Doggy paddle. Yeah. Big doggy paddle guy. Okay. So, anyways, uh, that is pretty much all we've got. Like I said, if you guys want to see any other animals take fishing, whether it's on the dock as well, let me know in the comment section down below. That's all I've got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And peace.
don't have to expose yourself to a bunch of people in public. That sounded weird. Exposure. <laughs> <laughs>